we have time to okay. do this? Okay. You're okay yes, with here we that. are with Gerilyn in static back. This is going to be her travel program. So she's in static back with something. She's draping legs up over a chair, which is, should be on average about 18 inches. So if you're in doubt, you might want to measure. Be careful that it is even and level. This one has a little bit of a slant. So position your knees so they're directly above your hips. <clears throat> Open your legs a little bit wider so that they're straight out. There you go. And then you want to stay here and do nothing for five minutes before you begin any of your other physical therapy. And it's very, very important that you breathe really deep. This is the time that you want to get the diaphragm engaged, the deep, deepest part of your lower abdomen. And the goal of static back is to get your back equally weight. The weight is distributed evenly on the lower back, so it's flat. So you don't ever put anything underneath your lower back when you're in static back because you want the back to flatten. And it should because of the weight of your femurs pressing your pelvis down flat and equal. And when you first lay down, you may notice one side feels heavier or tighter or just you don't feel as even across the low spine. But with the breath and with time and with the gravity, your lower back is going to settle, which causes reaction all the way up your spine. Now, right now, your neck is a little too bent. So... This should be so that it keeps your head right in line with the spine. And then you can put a cervical roll underneath your lower or your neck, but you don't want to bend at the neck any more than that. Good. So five minutes, just relaxed, breathing, letting the back completely relax and drop to the floor. Breathing through just your nose. Mm 